and today's video is all about turning scrap wood into cash. I'm going to show you some DIY projects that you can do that are really simple and really easy and you can flip them and put a little bit of money in your pocket really easy. And I also want to thank Go Cashback for sponsoring today's video. It's a cashback website where you can earn cash back on some of your favorite retailers. But I'll explain that a little bit more once we get into the video. Okay, let's get started. I never throw out any little bits of wood. Almost anything can be turned into a sign or a little ornament or something that you can turn into cash. I always have a little pile that I can always go to to make lots of projects. The first project that I'm going to show you is made from pallet wood. You can always find pallet wood free. I had this, it was already painted black, so it was going to work out perfect for this project. And I cut them into squares. These are going to turn into coasters. I took them out, I aggressively sanded them, and now we're going to just seal them up with some an engine enamel. Now that's the trick. The engine enamel is really, really durable, so you can put a wet, hot, cold drink on it turns into beautiful coasters you can tie them up really pretty and they sell really well this one I've added a little tag that I made they're perfect for craft fairs and they're so easy to make next project is this scrap piece of wood that had a little bit of a live edge on it I had friends that were building a home I had them save all kinds of little bits and pieces for me and this came from that. Now, I wanted to stress it and make it look a little bit older. Took my hammer, really banged it up, took a chain, put lots of nicks and chunks in it and now I'm gonna stain it. Now, I found the stain in the whoop section. It was like $3. Make sure you always check that section when you're at the hardware store because they always have something there that you can pick up really cheap. So now I've stained this and then I sanded it down a little bit. I'm just adding some coat hooks to it. This is a really easy DIY to flip, make a little bit of money on, and it doesn't take very long to put together. And a lot of times when I'm at the thrift store, I'll buy things that have hooks already on them just to take the hooks off because they can get pricey. And I put this together really affordable and it sells really well on craft fairs at your booth or on Marketplace 24 seven. And this was just a useless piece of wood that was going to get burnt. Now these were just some little pieces of press board. I actually got them from Home Depot. They have a little box at the back of their store where they cut wood that they put scrap pieces of wood in that you can grab and take for free. Always check there at your lumber store and ask if they have little scrap pieces of wood that you can use. These turn into beautiful gift tags. I had some vintage gift wrap paper that I found at the thrift store. I'm gonna use this to decoupage onto the tags and they turn into beautiful gift tags that sell fantastic. And they're at a really good price point that people can afford and they'll spend the five to seven dollars on a little gift tag that's custom made. I find when people come to craft shows, they always have $20 in their pocket or in their purse to spend. So if you can keep your smalls under that price point, you'll sell things a lot easier. I've decoupaged these on, let them dry. Now I'm sealing them up with a little bit of polyacrylic sealer. And the possibilities are endless with these. You can use custom napkins, you can just use napkins, you can put quotes on them, so many ideas. And if you can do all the different seasons and all the different holidays or milestones in these tags, you'll definitely be able to have a good seller. And these are super popular at Christmas time. Now this project is going to prove that I never throw anything out. These are actually from an old shutter that was broken. I took the slats out. We're gonna turn them again into little ornaments or gift tags. So many possibilities with these, but they would have been thrown in the dump and I saved them, deconstructed that shutter. And there's a lot of these in shutters, so you can make a lot of tags. And I sell these for four or five dollars a piece. So when you consider how many of these are in a shutter and you can turn them into four or five dollars a piece, puts a lot of money in your pocket. 
I painted just the one side with some homemade white chalk paint and we're gonna do our Mod Podge reverse graphic transfer method on these. I've printed off these quotes. They're all on one sheet, so you can do a whole bunch of these tags all at once. This is available in my Etsy store. If you have a project that you want to use these on, you can grab them afterwards. I let the graphic sit for 24 hours, rub the paper off. We're left with a fantastic graphic on those little shutter slots, drill the hole in the top, and then we're just going to add a bead and a little bit of twine and you've put together some really adorable little ornaments that sell really well. And these don't have to be made with little wooden slats. These can be made on any type of little small piece of wood scrap that was probably going to get it thrown out. You can turn into beautiful ornaments. And again, these are fantastic sellers at Christmas because they're under that $20 price point and I sell piles of them. You'll never look at little pieces of wood the same again after this video. I wanna share with you one of my favorite websites. It's gocashback.com and it's the fastest growing cashback website allowing you to get up to 45% back from your favorite stores. Go Cashback helps you save money every time you shop online and they have over 6,000 plus stores for you to shop from and they provide coupon codes, discounts and cashback to make shopping easier and fun so you can earn more cashback with your purchases. When you use Go Cashback in conjunction with merchant discount codes, you'll receive the ultimate savings and that's what I'm all about when I have to buy new and I can't source a product or I can't upcycle something. I am looking for a new ceiling fan for my home. I'm able to go into Home Depot through the Cashback app, pick out my fan and get cash back in my pocket on top of the savings that I'm going to be getting on the Home Depot site. It's 100% free to sign up. And if you sign up with my referral link in the description, you'll get a special registration bonus of $8 for all of my viewers. Go Cashback is also offering offline cash for new users if you download the app on your phone and they're giving 100% cash back to Starbucks, Whole Foods, and many more. So all you have to do is sign up for the program and get shopping using the merchant links through Go Cashback and they'll track your purchases and you'll get cash back and money back in your pocket purchasing products from your favorite merchants you're already likely going to be buying from. So to start saving now, download Cashback's Google extension to never miss earning cash back when you shop online. This extension automatically activates when you don't even realize it. They'll have monthly giveaway events for some of their popular merchants also, so keep an eye out for that because who doesn't love winning an amazing giveaway? So I need a few things from Home Depot. I went to the Go Cashback app, clicked on the link to the Home Depot website, it's taken me right there. I don't even need to worry about it. I'm going to get cash back now for anything that I purchased today. I love these Wooster paintbrushes. If you have not used one of these, you need to grab them. This little shortcut brush, fantastic. I'm going to put that in my cart and I'm going to get cash back from the Go Cash Back website when I check out and pay for the item. Also need some spray paint. I have a old vintage desk lamp that I want to upcycle and I want to spray paint it in that matte gold that's really popular right now. So I'm going to put that in my cart and after purchasing those two products, the spray paint and the paintbrush, I'm going to be getting cash back from the Go Cash Back website. So head to the Go Cash Back website, create an account, use my referral link down in the description to get $8 bonus when you sign up. So you can start saving money so we can buy more DIY craft supplies. Next project is just some scrap wood again squares that make really great shelf sitters. Another really easy DIY to make that sell really well. I've just kind of rounded the edges a little bit with my hammer just to make it a little bit rustic looking and we're going to paint it with some black homemade chalk paint. When that's all dry, I'm going to paint some white homemade chalk paint on top of that and let it completely dry. And then I took my 80 grit sander and went all around the edges to make it look nice and rustic. I'm going to do my Mod Posh reverse graphic transfer method with this again. I love the, how this is so versatile and you can do so many different themes and it doesn't cost a lot of money. You don't need your Cricut, you don't need a stencil, you can do so many different designs. Now one thing that you should always keep in mind is to keep a neutral palette. White and black you can never go wrong with and it sells better than using funky colors because everybody has 
black and white in their home and it can match. Now I have done a couple little yellow ones for a pop of color because they're fun just to add in with the neutral colors here and there. Next DIY is one of my most popular sellers. I've actually done a video that is completely all about these breadboards because if you can make these, you can put cash in your pocket. This was a piece of scrap tongue and groove. I cut the groove off with my jigsaw and I've got this old cutting board that I use as a template and we're just going to put the cutting board on top of that piece of wood and then trace out the handle. It doesn't have to be the exact same width. You can make cutting boards from all different sizes of scrap wood and they always, always sell really well. They're so easy and so fast to make. All you need is a jigsaw and a scrap piece of wood and you can put these together. Now this scrap piece of pine is going to turn into two cutting boards. I'm just gonna take my jigsaw and cut out around where I traced with the pencil and we'll finish it up. I have a lot of people ask me about pricing and what I like to do is I like to go to Etsy find something comparable, and then adjust my pricing from there. Of course, every area is going to be different, whether you live in the city or in the country, so you have to take that into consideration, but that's a good place to start. I just drilled a hole in the top, stained it with a little bit of my homemade stain, which is really easy to make. I'll put a link below in the description for that, and created these beautiful cutting boards. So this is just a few ideas of some DIY projects that you can make from scrap wood that sell really well and you can make some money on. I hope it was helpful and you got some inspiration. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these two. Take care.